Guys, I've been filming for like three or four days and I forgot what all I did. So I guess I'll go over some of the stuff I remember. I'll probably remember more as I'm editing the video, but uh, it's just time lapse. You guys will figure it out for sure. These winches, believe it or not, these are on Amazon and eBay. And uh, I was looking for some, I was going to do a pair of 9500 super winches because I have experience with them. Uh, I used that on my Baja. And with the mat tracks on my Baja, it weighed about 5,000 pounds. So these vehicles are going to weigh a similar amount of weight. However, uh, I started reading the reviews on these and they're surprisingly good. Just the 9500, not the 13,000 or any of the other ones they have. But for some reason... The 9500 seems to be the one that people like the most. And um, I'll just tell you right now, I, I got a deal on them. I bought two of them on eBay for 280 bucks each shipped. So for 280 bucks, let's say it works one time. That will save a ton of headaches and heartache and going up there three or four times to pull a snowcat out of a ditch which is going to be hard to find somebody else with a snowcat anyway there's only a couple people that i know of around the pacific northwest that would be able to do something like that but anyhow i figure even if it's a one-time use even though the reviews say they work great people that have jeeps for some reason use these things all the time and i mean it comes with a wired remote two wireless remotes for each one 
Let me show you. Kind of crazy. They come with two wireless remotes for each one. So I got four wireless remotes, two wired remotes, and yes, the uh, wireless remotes are on a different signal or frequency, so it doesn't make both of them go at the same time. They come with these neoprene covers, which I'll probably use when, in the off season when we're not using Rusty that much, just to protect these. But um, you know what? You can make fun of the Chinese winch industry all you want. I think that the super winches and these are probably made in a similar factory, but the stickers are different because it looks so similar to the super winch that I had. Same handle, same everything. So anyhow, I got the rear one done and we got the front one done. This worked out perfect. I planned way ahead of time when I um, built this diamond plate step or nose or, you know, skid plate or whatever you want to call it ahead of time I made sure that that was just big enough to get a winch on there uh, finished up the grill I had to trim it down a little bit and uh, redo the edge guard on it but that turned out really good and uh, the prize possession for today of course is the start of the doghouse here I wanted to keep this design really simple and really user friendly in case I needed to remove it so I just uh, drilled and tapped the Unistrut with quarter 20 hardware. There's only four of them in there holding that baby on. Should be fine. Uh, I won't finish this up probably till tomorrow. I have, uh, you can kind of get an idea of what I'm doing here. It'll look pretty slick when it's done. And um, it should serve its purpose just fine. I had enough of the Dynamat uh, hood liner left to uh, do the inside of that little uh, doghouse portion there and I have a whole roll to do the uh, other three sides uh, tomorrow when I get to it so that turned out really well what else can I tell you I got the first windshield wiper arm indexed and working correctly however the wiper blades that they sent me were two inches too long so now I'm waiting on, instead of 16 inches, I'm waiting on 14 inches. And of course, these have this bayonet style um, connector on it. And finding 14 inch wipers with a bayonet connector like that is pretty hard to do. So um, I did find out that Rain-X weather beaters have a, a connector in the kit to fit on that. The 16 inch ones, the latitudes worked, but... Um, they're just too big. They hit the top of the window uh, gasket and then they, they overlap down here and I couldn't adjust it out. So anyhow, we'll finish those up. Um, once the doghouse and those are done, it's uh, time to start on the door straps. Once the door straps are done, that's it. It's time to start knocking out some uh, grousers, 140 of them to build. That's going to take me a while. So there may be a big gap in the uh, Rusty Build series as I focus on getting some of those done. I will show an episode on what the design idea is and why I went with that design idea. But aside from that, I think I got everything. I used some scrap metal. Um, these two little U-channels were from the original motor mount that was in Rusty. That was in the scrap bin i cut it in half uh, melted the bushing out of it and then wire wheeled them and then i had a piece of uh three inch square tube left over from uh, a project that i was doing on able for the um, trailer hitch so i used that section cut it in half and welded the snot out of it back here that winch ain't going anywhere so Got the control box mounted, had to extend the wires out a little bit because the control box wires were a little short. But I just used the uh, ground cables that came with the kit because I already had some nice beefy ground cables made up uh, that I repurposed for this. So, um, What else? I think that's it, guys. And yes, the door does close without hitting all that stuff. I purposely uh, tested that numerous, numerous times. So... Um, so yeah, coming up, 
finish up the doghouse, get the door straps done, and then it's on to the uh, track building. If you guys uh, like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed yet, I'd love to have you as a subscriber. I hope you guys are staying safe. I know there's been a heat wave going on across the U.S. and so I've been cutting my days a little bit short to stay out of the heat too much. But other than that, take care guys and I'll catch you next time. See you later. Bye-bye.